Good day and welcome to Mission Control Houston, where Flight Director Ron Spencer and Spacecraft Communicator Anna Fisher are uh, among the leaders of the team that is working to support the Expedition 35 crew aboard the International Space Station, uh, which uh, currently is orbiting over Western Canada. Uh, and, and of course, uh, commander of the International Space Station right now is Chris Hatfield, the first Canadian commander of the orbiting research outpost. Uh, he's on orbit with uh, NASA's Tom Marshburn and Russia's Roman Romanenko, and they're working through a variety of different activities today. Hadfield has spent the majority of his morning reinstalling the Amine Swingbed Experiment. It's a technology demonstrator that looks at whether a vacuum-generated uh, amine system can effectively remove additional carbon dioxide from the International Space Station's atmosphere uh, using smaller, more efficient vacuum regeneration components there are two uh, different carbon dioxide uh, removal systems in the U.S. side of the station and one in the Russian side of the station. This is uh, intended to eke out a little bit more of that carbon dioxide so that it can be recycled. Uh, at the end of the day, Hadfield also is going to process some samples from the coarsening in solid liquid mixtures experiment that is aimed at developing methods for manufacturing better metal alloys for a host of applications on Earth. Hadfield also has a ham radio pass later today with the Ann Richards School in Austin uh, that is a school for uh, young female leaders. Roman Romanenko uh, working with the Matroshka experiment in the Russian segment of the station today. He's looking at radiation levels throughout the station complex. He's also doing some transfer items for the uh, Progress 50 spacecraft, which is currently docked to the piers compartment at the end of the April. Uh, and it's going to be uh, later today working with the Relaxkaya experiment. Tom Marshburn is working with the Advanced Colloids Experiment today. Uh, that experiment looks at removing gravitational jamming and sedimentation so that it's possible to observe how order arises out of chaos and to learn how to control the process in these colloids, which are mixtures of solids and liquids. He also worked with the setup for the Marangoni Experiment that's looking at surface tension of liquids in space, that same effect you see when you have a wine glass and the legs trickle down the side. Today's uh, crew Earth observations include the Nile River Delta and the Red Sea, uh, Johannesburg, Africa, Porto Novo, Benin, and St. Helena Island. There's also three different areas of uh, volcanic activity that they had pointed out to them, and uh, Stromboli and Mount Etna of Europe and uh, Kankar uh, over in uh, the uh, East Asia. Earlier today, uh, Hadfield called down to Mission Control that the crew had completed all of its work for the day, including uh, job jar work, and offered to take care of any other available work that Mission Control might have for them. And as a uh, uh, result, uh, Mission Control likely is going to be sending up some additional uh, tasks to uh, deal with some full waste tanks for the station's toilets that uh, are involved in the recycling system. Tonight at 7.25 p.m., the station is scheduled to perform a reboost maneuver using the thrusters on the Progress 49 spacecraft that's docked to the station. That reboost will raise the station's altitude about three miles to prepare for the first same-day Soyuz rendezvous and docking that's coming up on March 28 uh, with the upcoming crew members uh, Pavel Vinogradov, uh, Chris Cassidy, and Alexander Mazurkin. The burn is going to last 11 minutes and 13 seconds, and our NASA coverage begins at 2.30 p.m. on March the 28th. This is Mission Control Houston.